is Michael Honig. I'm the president of Honig Vineyard and Winery. I've been in the position for the last 23 years, and I like to refer myself as dad. I pretty much do everything that a father would do. Carry the bags, pay the bills, uh, clean up the poop, whatever it takes. That's, that's dad. That's me. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephen Honig. I am in charge of Northern California sales with the winery, and I'm also a proprietor, believe it or not. Rock stars can be proprietors. I'm Christine Belair. I'm the winemaker at Honig Vineyard and Winery. That's my day gig. And then by night, I rock and roll, baby. My name is Alicia Clark, and I am the LA sales rep. That means I sell wine in LA. <laughs> what else? I'm Kelly at Honig Winery, and I am the wine club coordinator here. I'm ready to rock. Ready to rock out with my drumsticks. My name is Natalie Morrison and I'm the San Francisco sales rep for Honig Winery. My name is Jenny Petche and I do East Coast sales for the winery. My name is Kimbella Nueva. I'm with the Honig Vineyard and Winery family. I've worked with them for six years in the Orange County and San Diego territory. My name is Tony Benedetti and I'm the CFO here at Honig. I have been in the, probably the last six postcards. Yeah, maybe seven. This is the most fun so far. Unfortunately, I wasn't into rock and roll. This is, you know, out of character for me. So I'm having to kind of improvise a little bit here. My idea was, as a young person, not really understanding wine and really not drinking wine at the time, is like, why would we talk down to our consumers and make them feel like they shouldn't be drinking our wine if they didn't know anything about it? And at that moment, I decided, let's use humor as a kind of way to have some fun. First week when I started here in 1998, I was had to be in a postcard, and my character was a housewife whose Valiant had just worn off and she was really excited to be at a game show. And well, it's a different experience, but you know, we're getting kind of into it now. Postcards are um, a really cool way that we have of keeping in touch with our, um, our customers and our fans and the consumers that, that purchase our wine. And it's a, it's a fun way to show that we take our product really seriously, but we don't take ourselves too seriously. You're too late. <laughs> You give love a bad name. Are there any tattoos left? They said nothing about this in the interview. There's only about five people that actually work for the company that are blood related family, but everyone here is you know, treated just like extended family here. What's nice about this company is that we uh, we have fun. You know, we, we do our work, but we have fun while we're doing this, as you can see from this uh, postcard shoot. One, two, a two, a one, two, three. Uh, Oh, yeah. You can kind of do the shot like this and kind of real rock star like. Yeah, my brother has much better rocker pose. He's got a bigger tongue. Or, you know, you obviously do the really kind of character like this. There you go. Thank you, Napa Valley. <laughs> And you just kind of walk around and you figure out what you're going to do for the postcard. You figure it's a postcard, it doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it's only a shot, but really, a character does matter. I mean, you got to really get into this thing, so. Rock! Mm -hmm.